Hello, TCRS community. I hope you all are well rested from the break. It's Mimi, your friendly neighborhood school anchor. Grab a comfy spot because we're about to chat about the chill and not so chill happenings in our school. So sit back, relax, and let's spill the tea on what's coming up. Cool? Let's get into it. Let's rewind to February 21st, where the great power was in full swing with our time knowledge bowl. It was a showdown of intellect and wit as our students battled it out to showcase their knowledge and skills. Stay tuned as we unveil the champions and highlights the memorable moments from the epic events. Let's dial it back to last Friday, February 23rd, where we basked in the sweetness of roses and chocolates day. Hope you all snack those flowers and guess what? Stick around because later we're pulling the curtains to reveal the behind the scenes magic with our fantastic student council. Intrigued? You should be. On the same day, we submerge ourselves in an aquatic wonderland at the middle school dance themed Under the Sea. It was a night of enchantment as students rocked their sea inspired outfits, dancing the night away amidst mesmerizing ocean vibes. Hope you all enjoyed your night. It was a splash of fun. Attention high schoolers, today's the day of our exclusive UBC presentation. Join us at the room 360 from 2.30 to 3.10 for insights into exciting opportunities tailored just for you. Don't miss out. All right, time to unveil the gems waiting on the horizon, our upcoming school events. Get ready for a preview of, what, of what's about to happen in the days ahead. Gear up grade tons, the PSAT is set for March 5th, kicking off at 7.30 and running until 11.10. Pro tip, make sure to arrive early to ensure a smooth start and give yourself the best shot at acing the test. It's time for you to shine academically. Attention to the chosen few. On March 15th, room 354 transforms into an exclusive space for selected students to immerse themselves in the SCAD presentation from 110 to 145. It's a unique opportunity to delve into the creative world, so mark it in your calendars. Brace yourselves, scholars. From March 19th to the 25th, the school will be buzzing with the energy of AP mock exams. A friendly reminder, set the tone for success by arriving early. The early bird gets the academic worm, after all. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to be swept away on the extraordinary voyage as we unveil the secrets behind the curtain providing you with an exclusive backstage pass to the magical realm of Roses and Chocolates Day. Join us on the captivating behind the scenes exploration where the visionary minds of our student council work their up alchemy, intricating weaving together threads of creativity, love, and anticipation to create an experience that transcends the ordinary. So immerse yourselves in the craftsmanship of our student council as they transform our school into a haven romance and sweetness. Hello everyone, this is Mimi and I'm here to show you all about what our city is like and behind the scenes. The Rose and Chocolate Day is one of the biggest events of the year for High School SC and we've been doing it annually for I don't know since when, for the longest time ever. And this year, the preparation was extra smooth compared to last year's and the previous year's because wow. our um, event organizing had my she organized a lot of the things to be prepared beforehand. So during Rose Night, we had to uh, distribute all of the roses and all of the sets to each individual classroom. And then we had to make sure each person is going to get the gifts that other people bought for them. So it's a very special job, I think, to be spreading so much love around during Rose and Chocolate Day. So for my experience with RCD, I actually had to uh, stay over with the SC after school until about 8 or 9 o'clock in order to help sort the roses. And to be quite frank with you, it was a bit of a mess. We did make a plan, but at the end of the day, like we still got it done even though it was very unorganized and random people went random places and we had to continuously just recheck every room just in case we missed something so my my reaction to the rcd event hosted by sc well it was it was pretty it was all right in the first half but it got pretty messy later at the later half of the preparation while i was 
kind of just see this as a, like a trial by error kind of thing, you know. They, they did say that this was a huge improvement from last year. So I say it's all right, but you know, there's nothing is going to ever be perfect regardless of how you try it. And that's it for our CD. This is Mimi reporting from the middle school building, signing out. Now that my savior, the sweetest of roses and chocolates day, let's pivot from heartwarming moments to the battleground of intellect with the Thai Knowledge Bowl competition. We're shifting gears from the sweetness of love to the thrill of knowledge, where brains clash and brilliance shine. Get ready to witness the transition from romance to rivalry in our journey through the Thai Knowledge Bowl presented by Aiko. Hi, my name is Aiko and we're at the 360. Uh, and I'll be reporting on the high school annual Thai Knowledge Bowl. Thai Knowledge Bowl is the year of 2011. It's been a long time. คือมันเริ่มจากการที่คุณครูภาควิชาภาษาไทยนะคะหัวหน้าภาควิชาภาษาไทยเนี่ยต้องการให้นักเรียนแต่ละดิวิชันได้จัดการแข่งขันวิชาการที่จะได้รู้ว่าความรู้ในแต่ละดิวิชันในแต่ละระดับในแต่ละชั้นเนี่ยเขาเรียนรู้อะไรกันเราก็มาทดสอบความรู้ความสามารถในห้องเรียนรวมกับความรู้รอบตัวไม่ว่าจะเป็นสังคมวัฒนธรรมหรือว่าข่าวสารในโลกปัจจุบันที่มันเกิดขึ้นมันก็เลยเกิดขึ้นเป็นเป็นไทยนอร์สโบก็คือการแข่งขันระดับความรู้ทางวิชาการของโรงเรียนเราค่ะทําไม่ค่าคิดว่าจะออกคําถามว่าคาสิตอะไรประมาณนี้ที่ว่าจะออกประมาณเป็นวรรณคดีเลยแล้วก็ตอนนี้ก็คือแข่งมาสามปีแล้วรู้สึกว่าปีนี้เป็นปีที่ยากที่สุดแต่ว่าโดยรวมก็คือสนุกมาก It was pretty fun working with other people and also knowing new stuff that we haven't learned yet It was pretty fun and it was um you know, we got the answers done, we worked together, and it was also fun at the same time. So overall, it was a pretty fun experience. I forget you got first place. Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you got first place? Very good. We were also happy and sharing. <laughs> we couldn't stop taking photos with that teammate. Well, originally we did get third place. Um, I don't know how we did it, but we had some very smart people on our team. Um, obviously, our na team name was like Team Farang, so we weren't all too serious about it. But we did manage to get third place. But um, the tiebreaker brought us down to fourth place, but overall we're pretty happy with that, especially because we enter this competition as a half joke, half serious type of thing. But fourth place does satisfy us. It's it's pretty nice. And that concludes the Thai Knowledge Bowl. This is Aiko signing off. From the intellectual arena of the Thai Knowledge Bowl, we're diving headfirst into the realm of innovations and robotics with the Vex Robotics Competition. Brace yourselves as we transition from the battle of wits to the battle of machines where creativity and engineering prowess take center stage. Get ready for the electrifying shift from brains to bots in the upcoming VEX Robotics competition. At February 17th, there was an international robotics competition, and 35 teams are participating across all schools in Thailand. These are our school's two teams entries, including the Disco Robot and 64084B. Yes, basically there are four teams playing, uh, two teams uh, are an alliance uh, and they play on opposite sides uh, and uh, there are I think uh, 30 plus balls that you have to put into one goal and there's also an autonomous uh, period which is uh, about uh, 15 seconds and you have to get as many balls as possible into the goal during that time. Um, and at the end of the game, if you elevate, you can get your score much higher than the, the rest of the teams. My role was designing and also organizing for my teammates where there are some parts that my friends lost and I had to like find them. So I'm kind of like just like the organizer, designer. I'm not really the main builder or the leader. Well, for me, I, I built the robot before the competition, but then during the competition, I coded it a little bit for its like autonomous period where there was no driver involved. But I also drive in around in around half the matches. Because it was it was the driving was swapped between me and Kelvin. So yeah, I basically controlled the bot. Well I say it was quite fun actually because like you get to like shoot stuff, hit other bots basically. And for me, the funniest part is like my robot's kind of like a chair. 
so we like have a nickname called the it's it's an electric chair but then well we somehow got tipped over so that was basically fun in the competition the competition was okay in my experience i heard that my friends were disqualified unfairly and it felt very unfair since the refs didn't really care that much and we got disqualified because of that and we but we did get ninth place so it it was i'm i'm very proud of my teammates for going to that level oh yes i'm really proud of our team because our both both teams did extremely well because when we went for the scrimmages we saw that um we lacked some mechanisms in our robots and actually they really did well because they came back and they redid their robots they they fixed all the all the problems and then they additionally they they looked at how they can score more and they uh, created uh, blockers which worked really well they played well and they were confident uh, at the co competition and they made it to the finals which is a, a, a quarter finals which is a huge achievement because this is their first time ever to participate in this type of com competition by the way you have to know that there were 35 teams participating this is Julian from WCV signing off from the anticipation of prom night to the excitement of our entertainment segment we're keeping the thrill alive now let's switch gears and dive into the entertainment extravaganza that awaits Stay tuned as we unveil the lineup of jaw-dropping performances and unforgettable experiences that will light up your world. Get ready to be dazzled from prom ticket purchases straight to the heart of our entertainment segment made by yours truly, Boda. What is WTV? Its full name is TCS Wednesday Show, so this show will be posted on YouTube every Wednesday. Then this also proves that our WTVO members need to ensure that there is a show every week. So, what we do? Editing video? Cameraman? Story writer? The most important thing is now then. What we need is to discover school information, collect it, and share it. We need to have a camera ready to record everything that happens. However, we believe the most important part is the time you spend working with group. Maybe we didn't have understanding each other from the beginning. But at the end, we can have a good teamwork and we learn different skills from each other. Finally, if you are interested in WTV and you are a high school student, please choose journalism next year. This is a very good experience that you can put on your resume. It is English credit. Finally, WTV hope you will join us. As we wrap up our entertainment segment, we want to thank you for joining us on WTV. But before we say goodbye, we would like to remind you to stay tuned for more thrilling updates and events coming your way. And if you ever want to announce anything, you can use the Google form right here. From prom night magic to unforgettable performances, the excitement never stops at our school. So let's keep shining bright and we'll see you next time. I'm Mimi, this is WTV, signing out.